What will win in a drag race between a Porsche 911 Turbo from 1986, an original 930, or a Dodge Viper from 1992? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now, let me tell you about this Porsche 911 Turbo from 1986, which has been lent to me by a chap called Aros. Thanks very much for lending me your car. Hopefully, I'll do it proud. Anyway, it's got a 3.3 litre flat six air-cooled engine that puts out 300 horsepower, 430 newton meters of torque, and it drives the rear wheels only via a four-speed manual gearbox. This car weighs in at about 1.3 tons, and back in 1986, it was around $50,000. Today, it's worth around $130,000. Now, that Dodge Viper, that was actually released for sale in 1992, but that car is actually a pre-production version. So it's actually owned by the Peterson Automotive Museum, who've Rangers drag race for us today. So that car has an 8 litre V10 that puts out 400 horsepower and 630 newton meters of torque, driving the rear wheels via a six speed manual gearbox. Weighs in at around 1.5 tons, and back in 1992, those things cost $50,000. However, today it's worth $50,000. So it hasn't quite appreciated in the same way as this Porsche has. Now let's have a little chat to its driver, Luna from the Peterson Museum. Hey Luna, how are you? Ready to party, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Two red cars going head to head, one American, one German. You've got an Italian driving an American machine and a British person driving a German machine. You need an Italian car and I need a British car. We've got this all wrong. <laughs> It sounds like the, the World Cup of cars to me. <laughs> How many World Cups has the Italians won? At least three, I think. Certainly two in my lifetime, I believe. Yeah, we've won one. I actually think, I think the Germans have won more than the Italians. I'm not sure. Anyway, if you know about that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. This is about cars. And apparently, people who like cars don't tend to like football. Luna, do you like football? I definitely dislike football. But I like David Beckham. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're proving my theory. I don't really like football and I like cars. Is that a thing? Uh, we're going to put a pin comment. I want you to vote, right? If you're someone that likes football and likes cars, or you're someone that likes cars but not football, I want to find out what the reality is. So what do you think is going to happen in this drag race, Luna? Uh, I think that if you refine your driving skills, you might have a chance against me in that turbo. Mm, okay, I'm not sure whether you're trying to psych me out with that because you said refined your driving skills. So what you're trying to do is put me under pressure to overdrive myself so I cock it up and you win. It's called uh, psychological terrorism. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to find out. But before we race, let's do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up my flat six. Oh, I like the vibes that come through the seats. Go on, Luna, rev up your V10. So Luna, I'm going to let you decide which car you think sounded the best because obviously you've got no roof on your car. It didn't come with one, so you could hear both equally. Yeah, and I, I can hear the cars, but not you very well. But anyways, so just please yell at me. Luna! Which car sounded the best? Your potential... <laughs> Always the American ones. No! Now, before we race, if you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow. So you can research which car you should buy next and then compare offers from loads of dealers through CarWow, right? And you can also sell your current car through CarWow. What you'll do is just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on it in an online auction. Now, if you want to find out more about that now, just click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do that after watching this video just by Googling help me car wow we will help you change your car the easy way let's get on with this race then has she psyched me out oh she might have three two one come on get into boost come on boost boost Keep going, 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 keep going
up by a match and I missed third gear so I couldn't find it oh my fault let me try again I don't know if I want to try again all right then Luna best two out of three if I win this one it is game over for you I'm prepared to any outcome so let's just uh, go for it and see what happens three two one <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Oh. Guess what, Luna? I got a great launch. Beautiful launch. But then I couldn't find second gear. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, so that's two missed gear shifts, <laughs> one apiece, one win apiece, decider. Let's go. Three, two, one. No, it's had it. She's got me. Definitely. You won. Shocking. I'm so disappointed. That other launch that I did when I caught that second gear, I think if I'd have nailed that gear shift, I could have been in with a chance. But that time, my launch wasn't so good. The car bogged down and it was game over for me. Are you blaming the car? No, I'm blaming me because I just couldn't do it right. It was the car's fault. It's okay. Oh well, not good enough. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Dodge won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 12.8 seconds. The Porsche took 13.2 seconds. Okay, Luna, let's do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. I'll set the speed, you just stay level with me. I'm gonna be in second gear. You can decide whether you wanna be in second or third. It's your call. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know, right now I'll improvise, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here comes the Viper now. Oh no, it doesn't. Are you okay? I am, but uh... You just won this one. What gear did you go in? Third, the second was too short and it, it took a while for it to pick up from third, so. Do you know what then? How about if we go from about 40 so you can be in second? Yeah, let's try that. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, she's gone now. I think that was my win. Yeah, it was pretty close. Good job. This thing is fast when it's on boost. So very fast. Okay, one last challenge to do then. Now we have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the cones, full emergency stop. The car which stops in the shortest distance wins. We'd rather watch another drag race with a bunch of old 911 turbos. Click on the pop-out banner up there before the link in the description below. If not, stay ready for the brake test. She has um, destroyed me. Uh, Luna, you absolutely destroyed me. I didn't know I had this Thailand for breaking. But you, you're really good. You absolutely smashed me. I'm like, I'm like, it, I'm in a different time zone here. I think that's because I'm used to driving terrible American cars with no safety systems. And I, it's just I'm well versed with the uh, lack of security. Yeah, well, I'm clearly not. I just heavily rely on ABS by the looks of things. Listen, thanks very much for taking part and humiliating me. I sort of enjoyed it in a weird way. Uh, my pleasure.
<laughs> anyway, listen, huge thank you to the Peterson Automotive Museum for taking part in these drag races and to Aros for lending us this car. If you haven't done so already, go and follow the Peterson, go subscribe to their channel, go watch some of their videos, go comment on them and say, Len, car wear some more cars, right? And we'll see if we can sort out some other drag races in the future. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want, you can watch some more videos by clicking over here. And if you want to compare these cars, quarter mile times to everything else we've ever drag race, just click on the box there to go to the Car Wow Drag Race leaderboard. Thanks for watching.